Okay, so imagine a world without tuber tuberculosis and even not even a space program. Uh, believe it or not, that if we decided to not use the, the data from Nazi experimentation, we would not have these things. Through hours of research, I believe that I have came to the conclusion that the information gathered from Nazi experiments is ethical and should be used in scientific uh, research today. Today, I intend to persuade you by hitting three key points. Uh, the information found from Nazi experimentation, uh, the human rights that actually came afterwards, and then uh, why we cannot help the fact that it happened 65 years ago, and it's dead and done. So this brings me to my very first point. All this information I'm about to give you is from an author by the last name of Conan. Uh, he wrote the ethical medical data from Nazi experiments in a medical journal. Uh, one of the main points that they researched was how well the human body handles high altitudes uh, and they actually found out that in their experimentation that if we are in high altitudes for too long of a time that uh, air bubbles are formed within the brain and causes hemorrhage. So uh, they also contributed to the research of modern flight because we know how long humans can actually withstand how high and how long in the air. Um, another thing that they that they found from research is how long humans can survive in cold water. They, they got it down to literally seconds on how long is if a bombing run was to be shot down and people were in the freezing uh, water in the ocean, how long that they could actually be saved. This information would be, then be used to modern military today. And then also they made this, they made an element and pardon the, uh, let me pronounce it, it's like solfalmandic. It, it, it's, it's some compound that they made, and actually what it is is a, it was a, an effective way to stop bleeding for blood clotting. So what would happen is that with the research, they would have people with injuries of warlike, warlike. They would, instead of before, what would happen is that they would load you up on like whiskey or uh, any form of anesthetic and perform field surgery. This, com this compound actually made it so that the blood would coagulate. And, that, and it would stop the bleeding then and there. So they, they actually contribute to very modern medical practices on the battlefield today for our veterans. And then also, tuberculosis 65 to 100 years ago was one of the deadliest diseases uh, that there was. Uh, there was a very high mortality probability, and from their, from their information, they actually formed the first vaccine to make it not an issue that we have today. And then according to Johnson C., a writer that uh, I found that they had, they created four ICBMs and two planes uh, made for space. They never launched, but it, it contributed um, t theoretically to all the space programs of today. So this then brings me to my second point, which is the Nuremberg Code of 1947. The Nuremberg Code is a set law of, that hits 10 points based on human experimentation. Uh, with with the biggest one being that voluntary consent must be essential and all the consent must not be deadly and it must further the better of man. They also must be able to, whenever they feel uncomfortable, to end the research that is going on and uh, whether or not they decide if it's kosher. Um, the second point, as I stated, was that it must, it must better uh, humankind. So they cannot just be doing Nazi, re they, they cannot just be doing research just to do uh, research. Another main point is that the experimentation has to be done previously on an animal of some sort. Uh, while some may not agree with that, uh, it benefits to the safety of the human being. I mean, let's face it here, we'd all rather have a dog die than us. And, uh, and then um, this, uh, there is a uh, much more major points in the Nuremberg Code, but those are more of the major ones that consent must be there and that it must be beneficial to humankind and it can't just be done just to do. And then this also brings me to my third point as I stated. Uh, knowledge is not good or bad. We cannot help the fact that these atrocities were committed 65 years ago and uh, this does not make scientists uh, anti-Semitic. Uh, it isn't a very emotional standpoint, but how much that has came from the basis of the Nazi research, we cannot just brush off our shoulder. Well, yes, we should not repeat how the atrocities happened. Uh, we should not discredit the fact of the information that is found today. Uh, it, it just proves that this, 
information should not be uh, informed. So in conclusion, I've explained in three points uh, the data found, uh, the Nuremberg, Nuremberg Code of 1947 human rights that were formed, and we cannot, we cannot change the past. And then for my call to action, a, a group named NOVA, which was through PBS in 2000, did a, res did a, a survey of 43,000 people, and 62% of them agreed that the scientific research should be used for the better of science today. So now that I have discussed in both speeches the ethical and unethical standpoint, I, uh, I strongly encourage you guys to have your opinion and form a debate. So tell me, what is your stance? Yeah.